Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Taylor and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you with me to shop at TJ Maxx. So I'm going to be walking through the whole store and showing you everything I can find. I'm going to start off in the purses, um, some makeup, hygiene products, home decor, um, shoes, just anything that I find that I think is a good deal. I'm going to be showing you guys today. So if you're interested in seeing what I found today, just keep watching. Before we start today's video, don't forget to hit that like button down below and subscribe to my channel because because I would love to have you. Also, make sure you have your post notifications turned on so you don't miss an upload. I upload new videos every single week, and let's go shopping at TJ Maxx. So we just got to TJ Maxx and I'm excited to see what I'm going to find today. So I'm going to be starting off in the purse section and the first purse I seen was this blue Michael Kors handbag. It was $119.99. They also had this Michael Kors bag, and it looks pretty similar to the other one. It's the same blue color, same pattern. This one was $129.99. And I also did find this Michael Kors backpack. This is the ombre blue backpack, and I did throw up a comparison price for Amazon. They no longer carry this on Michael Kors' website. There was a savings of $178. Again, another Michael Kors bag. Um, this one is a similar one that I found on their website. There was a savings of $69. Next, I found this Steve Madden bag. This is just a small little bag and it does have the crossbody strap. This was only $19.99 here at TJ Maxx. Compared to the original price, there was a savings of $38.01. Next is this DKNY bag and I actually really like it and I kind of regret not getting it. I really like the, stri the straps like that on handbags. It was $39.99 and the original tag on it says this bag was $148 for a savings of $108. Next we're over in the perfume and the first one I found was this Kate Spade in Full Bloom Blush Perfume. And this is actually sold out on their website. It was $19.99 here at TJ Maxx. Next is Calvin Klein. This is a woman's perfume. And I could not find no comparison prices, but this was $16.99 here at TJ Maxx. Next, we have Abercrombie & Fitch. This one is a comparison to an Amazon price. This was on Amazon for around $30. It was $19.99 here at TJ Maxx for a savings of $10. Next is Betsy Johnson. And this is the perfume, again, another co Amazon comparison price. And I could not see the price of what this was at TJ Maxx because they have the um, safety thing on it. Now I'm going for here in the jewelry. And they had a lot of great jewelry today, a lot of different earrings. They were anywhere from around $12.99 to $16.99 and $19.99 for a set. So I'm going to kind of go through and just show you a overview of all of the jewelry they had. They had these earrings in a Disney collaboration. Um, here is what they kind of go for online. They did not have these exact styles, but they were only $14.99 here at TJ Maxx. Next, I found a bunch of these bracelets. This one was a quartz, this was a pearl one, and they had a bunch of different ones like that. They say what their purpose is. They were $16.99. And then they also had, um, I'm going to go through and show you, but there is like all the different crystals. Um, each one has a different meaning. And then they also had the necklaces as well. Um, they were all $16.99 as well. Now we're over in the makeup section, and the first thing I found was this Stila set. This set retails for $21. It was only $12.99 here at TJ Maxx for a savings of $8. Next was another Stila set. This one is a eyeliner. Again, this set retails for around $21. It was $14.99, so there was a savings of around $6.00. Next is a BH Cosmetics palette. This is the Miami one, and this does retail for $7. It was $3.99, so there was a savings of around $3. Next is this Morphe lipstick. This does retail for $10. It was only $4.99, so that's a savings of around $5. 
Next is this Wet n Wild set. This does retail for around $14.99. It has three different highlighters in it. If I can find the price, it was only $5.99, so that was a savings of eight of $9. Next is this Revlon highlighter. It does retail for around $6 on Amazon. It was $3.99 here at TJ Maxx for a savings of $2.56. Next is Clinique. This is a blush powder. This does retail for $29. It was $12.99 for a savings of around $16. Next, we have the Glamnetic, and this is the collaboration with Hello Kitty. And I'm not even sure what this product is. It doesn't say it on there, but it was $7.99. Next is Bare Minerals. This is the blush, and this does retail for around $20 on their website. It was $9.99 for a savings of $10.31. Next, I found some of this Pat McGrath um, collaboration. This is a highlighter, and they no longer have it on their website, but I did throw up comparison prices. It was only $19.99 here at TJ Maxx. Next, in that same collaboration, this is a lipstick, and it does retail for $48. It was only... $14.99 for a savings of around $33. Next is this Anastasia Beverly Hills set. This has the powder and the setting spray. This does retail for $25 online and it was $12.99 here at TJ Maxx for a savings of around $12. Next is this NYX First Base um, Primer Spray. This does retail for $8 online. There was a savings of around $3. Next, this is the ColourPop Disney Bambi, and they actually no longer have this on the website, but I threw up comparison prices. It was only $7.99 here at TJ Maxx. Next is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It does retail for $45. It was only $14.99 here at TJ Maxx for a savings of around $30. Next is the Smashbox 24-Hour Hydration pa Foundation. It does retail for $43. It was $14.99 for a savings of around $28. Next is this Urban Decay All-Nighter Liquid Foundation. It does retail for $40. There was a savings of $27.01. Next is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation. And this does retail for $38. There was a savings of $25.01. Next, I found this Jaclyn Cosmetics Brightening and Setting Palette. This does retail for $39. There was a savings of $26.01. Now we're going to shop for some hygiene products. This first one is the Pacifica Lavender Moon Body Lotion. This does retail for $10. There was a savings of $6.01. Next is another Pacifica product. This is a body butter. This does retail for $18. It was $5.99 here at TJ Maxx for a savings of around $12. Next is the Body Shop. This is a body butter for avocado. This does retail for $22. It was only $6.99 for a savings of around $15. Next is the Origins. This is a whipped body cream. This does retail for $41. There was a savings of $21.01. Next, I found these face cotton. Um, these were do retail for $13. They were $7.99 for a savings of around $5. Now, I found these Juicy Couture um, pajama shorts. The original tag says these retail for $36. This was only $12.99 for a savings of around $23. Now I'm over in the shoe section and I found these Adidas shoes. They were $29.99. They do retail for over $40 on Amazon for a savings of around $11.99. Next were these Blowfish shoes. These do retail for around $30 on Amazon. They were $16.99 and there was a savings of $16.95. More Blowfish shoes. Um, again, these are on Amazon for around $26. They were $19.99 for a savings of $7. Next are these Toms. They are Cheetah. I found them on Amazon as well. They were around $40 on Amazon. There was a savings of $24.96. 
Now over in the home decor, I found some more um, St. Patrick's Day items. I know St. Patrick's Day is over, but here are some items still. They also had a bunch of Easter, so I'm going to go through and show you guys some of these Easter things I found. Um, stay tuned for the full video. I have a full Easter video coming out soon.